Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Took War with the Eras mod. Last time around, we sunk some British ships, we cleared the way to Berlin, hopefully we'll take it this time around, and I believe we also, yes, in between episodes I cleared away the troops to move back here. Uh, Marshal Ney took care of them, uh, his army is in need of replenishment, so it's going to sit for at least a turn before being put into action again. The plan for today is I want to focus and have today's battle, sort of the main fight, be on Ireland. I've bottled up the British Navy, so they're either in Liverpool or in Bristol. This Navy right here is able to take control of Portsmouth. They actually got steam dry docks there, uh, so we uh, prevent them from building any new ships. Uh, we're going to be landing the Polish soon enough. Um, this one's going to be taken out as well. And uh, possibly the Danish as well. We'll see. I have a lot of stuff. We'll see what we get. Have time to get through. First things first will be to uh, actually take Berlin. Which is a good, will be a good start. Um... I could, since this one has been in fighting, I could bring up troops from here, but I don't want to bring this army into fight because I don't want to focus here. I want to focus over on Ireland. So what we're going to do is we're going to attack, which forces these guys away. They didn't retreat further, far enough though. That I don't like. But now Messina is clear to attack Berlin. Um, the castle is going to be manned by 2,300 men, and they're going to be reinforced by 2,500. Um, luckily for me here, I can see that the big army is not brought in. Um, I think we're probably going to need reinforcements as well. You know, this army right here actually has enough... To run around here and kill them. It seems like there's going to be too much focus around Berlin. As of right now. But I'm going to bring... Let's bring in this army. The castle will hold. The Ney is back there. And we got the new troops right here. So I will bring Seoul as well. So we'll bring everyone over here. Because I, wanna, I don't want to focus here. I've said that, right? Um... Maybe I should attack this one and force it away. Or I'll just attack here. And now we have three armies. And now the reinforcements of the city is going to be absolutely smashed by an army of close to 10,000 men. The outer resolve, uh, we lose 1,000. The Prussians, though, lose their entire force, 1,800 men. No force is destroyed. Good. And suddenly, Berlin finds itself in um, a very precarious situation. Because their army has now dwindled down to 3,000 with only 700 regular men. And they still face a huge force of around... Well, at this point, it's fallen a bit, so we're down to... Uh, uh, 8,000 men, roughly. But it's a clear outer assault because it's so heavily in our favor. We could lose quite a lot of men, though, since it's a fort. Um, we lost another 1,000, so not too bad. N no unit destroyed, which is also good. And the enemy loses their entire 3,000. Uh, oh, the Marines! The Marines don't lose anyone and kill 119. Why is it like that? When I use the when I use the Marines in battle, they uh, never be able to achieve anything like that. But here they do. And Berlin is now under our control. Wonderful, and the area of Brandenburg is under our control. Can I, will I be able to recruit any um, Cheval the Anhalt? Le Bataillon Infanterie Anhalt. So we get 
troops. We get. We're gonna get a lot of German troops. I'm. Maybe I should put all the German troops into their own army. Put you a little bit more like that. Right. Wonderful. So uh, this area is now clearly under our control with Berlin falling. That's a huge boon for us. Um, this should probably be brought down though. Because it converts the populace to... The thing is though, at this point I believe I have the Religious Tolerance Act or whatever. So yeah, Religious Unrest is very low. So there's no need to try and uh, convert the populace um, to Catholicism. Or not yet anyways. Uh, but now we have a clear control of that area. Let's hop over to the next part. This is going to be an absolute massacre. The carronade ships are going to destroy, absolutely destroy this force. And it decides to hold its ground, or, well, its water, its sea, part of the sea. Uh, it's going to be absolutely destroyed. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and do just that. This battle, I figure, will go rather quick, so I think I'll go ahead and play it. Um, we start surprisingly close to the enemy, actually within... Um, cannon range, so we've got the no normal class, uh, Buckinter class, 80 gun ships, um, three aligned like this, firing for the sails, and then on either side we've got the carronade ships coming in, so I will be able to cut the sails of the advancing enemy ships, and then on either side like in that Pirates of the Caribbean and stuff, um, will be coming in on either side and just unleashing on the sides of these ships. And um, I think we will be able to uh, absolutely destroy these ships. What on, <laughs> what on earth is that flag? The red tick? It looks like a tick. Alternatively, um, some sort of crab, but it does look like a tick, doesn't it? Nasty creatures. The sails are almost completely cut on these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I control when the ships fire. And then these two can continue as they are. But I want the ships in the back to come in close to be able to deliver the second part as quickly as possible. So I'll order them to kind of cut in through here, giving them an opening. Oh. Because that's going into the wind, right? It's going to work for one side, not the other. Alright, you should also speed up here. I don't need to fire at their sails. I mean, their um, sails are already shot. Right. We're coming up. And uh, release. Look at that. Now we're going to lower down to battle speed. And you're going to be raking them from behind. And then you're going to cut down to battle speed. I don't think uh, this one has to close in quite a lot more. Oh, you're so close that you stopped. That's not great. Not as wonderful as I'd hoped. Here comes the second shot from this one. Okay, you go to battle speed, and now you unleash your broadside. We'll just see how this melts away. And the ship get absolutely destroyed. It's almost like it's uh, um, immediately kind of ex we're on its way on exploding. Right, let's see if you can close in and actually 
be able to fire here as well. Like we can, we can uh, just from the fire of this one, it fires so hard that the guns are able to take to shred not just one side of the ship but the other side as well, because the guns go just straight through it. Unfortunately, it looks like you are out of range, but I can unleash a long range like that and still be able to deliver quite the blow. Oh, the, the shots this one is getting in. Straight through the front, absolutely eviscerating all the guns inside the ship. Gun battery is getting absolutely crushed. Alright, the ship has surrendered. It means that there's only one left. And let's organize then to focus in all our firepower on this one ship, which now as well has surrendered. And so within six minutes, we are victorious. Wonderful! And two ships even gain chevrons through this fight. Um, we're going to take these on. It's not like I need the money. I'd rather, you know, not having to build more ships. Taking those on, though, is going to mean that I cannot continue. Let's see, which one was it that I took on? Must be this one right here and this one, because these are the most broken down ones. I'll try and make it back to port. I still have within range to attack the Danish one and I could bring in the next three, sh three ships. And we could smash the Danish fleet while we're at it. Or what's left of it after having fought the brave Dutch fleet. Um, Low, very low on crew. This is an outer assault. I mean, is it even worth it? It's Denmark, though. I think we want to see their ships on fire.
naval fight successful. Apparently, one of the Danish ships managed to get away, which is not really true. Um, and the other one almost burned to a crisp. Um, wonderful victory against the Danish. We managed to capture one of their ships. We're going to take it on. Right. With that, we'll be heading back to port. With... Oh. Wrong port. <laughs> we're not going to declare war on uh, our allies. Right, we're heading back to port with all the ships. It's cleared up to this way. Next fleet is the l small Swedish one there. And then um, the Danish fleet right here. I'm hoping that we can lure it to come out here and fight us. Hopefully we'll be able to take on them. Um, it, there could be a Danish fleet right here. Who knows? Anyways, this is clear now. And I have no more moves to make. So let's go ahead and end turn. See if the Prussians come up with a counter attack towards Berlin or against Dresden. Both of these areas hold fort, although Dresden, I mean Berlin's fort, is broken down. I'll you know what? I'll actually leave it broken down. It's um, a bit too much to have a fort on your side. With that said, Let's go ahead and end turn. See what our enemies come up with. Some interesting developments during the end turn. Not to do with this agent though. Or any of the other agents at all. Uniform armaments. Good. Uh, Russia and Prussia. Their alliance is broken. There's a lot of agents that have been detected. Admiral Pepin is now available. Good. It's good to know that Pepin is available. Another cross-dresser. That's interesting. I would want to see what Russia is up to. Russia has now declared war on the on Kurland, which I did see during the end turn. There was a crushed Russian force right here that showed up just at the very end of it and so it seems like the so that Kurland is able to hold its own and their navy actually went up here and destroyed the Russian navy that was set up right there so they are fighting hard at the same time my allies my two vassals teamed up to destroy a Danish army that was here so first the Hanoverians attacked and forced the Danish to retreat and then Mecklenburg got its revenge as they were able to attack the remnants of the Danish army and destroy it just off here. As for the Prussians, they seem to be heading east. Now with them breaking their alliance with Russia, that could possibly mean that is Russia, you know, are they um, smelling blood in the water? Are they going to go in and join in this fight? Who knows? Um, the Prussians are still at war with the Austrians as well. The Prussians are allied with Sweden and Denmark, interestingly enough. Um, the thing is, I think we will hold here for a bit just to recover as much of our forces as well. Same over here. What we might do is we might reorganize a little bit in terms of the forces because we've got even more Germans coming out. So we might, what I might call upon is I might call upon more French troops to come up or extra troops to just turn up generally so we can put these uh, German forces to good use. These are actually better than the ones that Ney has currently. So even now with the experience of the Oldenburgers and the Bavarians, it could be better actually to um, say give him these um, new Germans instead. Let's put these ones. They'll organize defense around there 
and then what we'll do is we'll give them um, or give him I should say we'll give him these battalions so these four I can't remember what Ney lost I think it was cavalry because he only has three and then Ney has of course young guard artillery here we've got Kirkman's gunners and eight pounders and maybe that's not the one necessary to change its guns out um, the one that probably needs a 12 pounder is Sul which got a four pounder and then one the six pounder from um, Davo's army probably needs to be traded for a 12 pounder instead so they'll be heading up there with us holding this pretty clear, will Davo or uh, will divert Audrino to go after the Danes? So he will now be heading after the Danes. Um, even though I've, my fleet is pretty much in tip top shape as it is. I want to make sure that we are at full, capa absolutely full capacity, um, because there is two full stack fleets here, so I want to make sure that we are in tip top shape. I would like a, sp do I have any spies close by? I would like a spy there to be sent, because I want to see what they've got in their port. Um, these extra two Germans could be sent replacing something. I want to rep You know what? Some of these old armies do still have the probably some smaller maybe Voltageer units or 135 units that could probably be replaced instead with German troops. Like this one right here. Uh, the Croat Voltagiers. They could be replaced. This army, in fact, has a lot of Fusiliers. So a Fusilier and the Croats will be moved to the depot. And then instead he gets um, two Saxon regiments to join in. 262. They're about equal with normal French troops. So that's okay. Wonderful. So we got that set up. Um, so I'll reorganize some other stuff later. What we're going to do now is... One thing that I need to do is I, we need to block the crossing here as well. So there we go. Now that we've got them bottled up. We've got one ship here. That one will go along here to scout. Okay, the British army is sitting just north of Dublin and now here comes the oh we got good resupply here as well once we take control of this and now the Polish army makes landfall and within one turn they will be marching to deal with Frederick of Jork wonderful and his retreat is cut off and uh, any supplies heading his way will also be cut off. Or not supplies, but extra troops. Wonderful. Uh, we do have a spy taking a look over here. I want to see if I maybe can take a look at what the... Um, the... what's it called? The Russians are up to. At the same time... I'm interested to see if there's more problem, if the Prussians keep losing, there's going to be more unrest coming around for the um, Prussians here. They seem to also have been able to get the uh, religious doctrine, so they're no longer... Huh. Maybe I could introduce, I could just give technologies to the Prussians that gives them minus happiness 
um, like foraging minus repression or I can't like spinning mule I mean sure will enrich their industry but will also give them minus three industrial for from industrialization and uh, we could that was the only one actually we'll give the Russian spinning mule just to cause uh, actually I'll see if that works I'll give them spinning mule in exchange for nothing oh most generous gift and now suddenly Poland is uh, enraged spinning mules I've never heard of it We'll burn this place down. Wonderful. Now they're not a full garrison, so I'm sure they will will unfortunately not actually get our Polish rising, but oh we actually get Danzig as well. They become unhappy. The it's it's like a Trojan horse, but in this case it's a spinning mule. That's a Trojan horse planted by the French. Damn these French! And there's spinning mules! I'll be spinning in my grave before you know it. Anyways. Let's end turn. And then. We will capture Dublin and free the Irish. The British are scared. I've got them trembling. We draw to the attention the fact that this war has brought neither success nor profit to either of our nation. Let us have peace. What? At the sight of a brilliant victory and me releasing the Irish from the yoke of the British? I think not. You had your chance. You've made your bed, now you have to lie in it. The British struck right after their peace negotiation, uh, where they took Pamplona. I think that army, though, ha was working on its own. Da da da, or they not blocked by something. Ah! We've got uh, howitzers now being deployed. Tons of ports being built out. And um, an admiral. Expert purser. Wonderful. Right. We are set then to attack the English garrison at Dublin. And uh, Gushi. I will go ahead and lay the siege. Oh, they. You know what? The area is super unhappy. I can just sit back. Similar to what I did down here in Barcelona, is I can sit back and wait for the Spanish guerrillas to go ahead and attack and bring them down a bit. And then I can sweep in and kill them. Especially now when I've got my. Uh, gonna get my new 12 pounders rolling in on them. Right. The thing though is. Should I continue after this and release Scotland as well and then sign peace with the British? Because I feel like going after London might be too much. I'm going to need a lot more troops landed here if I'm going to attack London. Um, and I just want to take a look. His path was blocked there, sending a Danish force towards me. The spy can go ahead and check if there's any more. No. The route af after this battle here, the route will be open to the Danish capital. It is a fort though and they do have a full stack sitting within it. You know what, enough of this, this side shows. Let's go ahead and t take care of business by sending the Polish army to lay siege. Oh! I've been wanting to fight a battle with rockets. Um, I've got some Royal Marines, foot skirmishers, some Highlanders, uh, Dragoons, 
We've got experimental howitzer and experimental rocket artillery. And they've left, for some reason, they've left troops up north. Alright, 3,300 Polish troops against the British army of 3,700. Let's go ahead and fight this battle. We are in the very early stages of the battle and the British are just about firing their rockets. And their heavy cavalry is making a push towards my right side. Potentially should have held the muskets for a little bit longer. That was friendly cannon shot that went through because I was still aiming for the heavy cavalry. Right, I want these troops to move forward so that I have a little bit of an opening for my light cavalry to swing out. Clearly we're getting hit by rockets. As of yet, I don't know, I must have been this unit right here that got hit by rocket. Um, first man in this campaign to have died from a rocket attack is this guy right here. Oh, here comes another set of rockets. Not very accurate, but they did kill a man in the first go. Right, the British troops here seems to be... I'm not sure where they're going. The cannons selected the target on their own, and they're firing up through the Scots. Um, maybe I should be aiming for these guys instead. I want them to actually move this way, because it clears the way for this... Uh, brigade to be able to move up here and opens up ground for the cavalry as well to move through there. Uh, most of the British troops seems to be moving down here, so the main fight will be against my um, my lights here. We've got a few more kills due to the rocket. I think the rockets will be they will be um, they will grow deadlier the closer we get to them there's no way I'll be able to maintain this on my own so I'll group them together let's see if we can move forward here and seek battle with this one moving up as well making sure that we secure the flank there and then the Lancer Cavalry should move up and aid to that side. As of right now, the General is not needed up front, so he'll stay back there as he is. Um, looks like the fight is going to happen here first. So it would be nice to soften them up. We've already taken quite a lot of people out of this one. Actually, this is the first unit that we'll run into. Because he's gunning it straight in to uh, the light brigade. Right, they're able to open up and they kill about 10 of us. But he will be the only focus of uh, my return fire as it is right now. Um, you will have to come up to aid in that and let's order these guys to run a little bit. And the light cavalry will hold its place a little bit. Right now they've got a full regiment of foot that has not lost any men. And they're on the cannon attack, so I don't want to attack there just yet. The entire line is now starting, sort of-ish, to fire here. You can actually quickly move here and aid in that. And then these three will have to quickly come up to guard... It's own. What are you doing? That's uh, not a good way to maneuver. As we got Highlanders coming up really close here. Good amount of fire. The thing is the light cavalry on their own won't be able to break all of that. But if I get some few, few more cannibals into that. That mess. We should be able to break them down. More rockets landing. 
I feel like I should win this fight against the Highlanders because there's more of us laying down a lot more fire on them. Okay, these guys are also moving up. So we'll continue to lay down fire through here. Even though we're getting hit by the rockets. This one's almost breaking. Oh, now they're produ the British are producing a hell of a lot of fire down there. Where this unit is losing tons of troops. I'll have to order them back and the cavalry as well. Actually, you know what? The cavalry could the light cavalry could come around. There's a lot of armed citizenry right here. And we can smash through that just on its own. Alright, the Highlanders was pushed back over here. Unfortunately, they were forced back over here. We'll uh draw the line back. Is it... I didn't... It wasn't my own cannon shots going through, was it? No. Right, drop the light formation and move aside. Then the light cavalry will move up to fill that gap, fire once and then charge across. And then the Lancers should be heading that way. Right, they've fired. Let's go. And you'll go back into position. And we'll smash through the armed citizenry. Let's see, did we know that they were too close to the edge, so they weren't we weren't able to rally them. Right. The uh, light Polish cavalry has struck the armed citizenry. The enemy general is close enough though that he's uh, given them quite a bit of support. And the cavalry is now being cut off from retreat. However, the British troops here are suffering heavily. Oh, they're setting up to shoot us in the back here. Push through and try and avoid as much of that fire as possible. The Lancers need to strike out here as well. Right, the cavalry is going through. Who's running now? Oh, there! Oh, they were able to fire up through there. I thought the rest of the brigade would be able to cover it. It was a close run, close call though. This one is 130, this one 137. We'll set up for the lancers to go through there. Right, the light cavalry is uh, breaking down all the fence walls. Let's uh, head back and try and join the fight by breaking up more of the center there. We are... The cannon shots are coming really close now to uh, my own troops. I don't want to bounce through my own troops. Trying to keep a track of uh, the cavalry so it doesn't get crushed. At the same time as my cavalry now gets uh, attacked by the rockets. The first Lancer charge goes in. I want the other one to hit its own target. So I'm going to try and maneuver that around. These guys are set up to fire. I break them. Break them. Who's running now? Oh, light unit in the center here. Took quite the beating from the Royal Marines, I'm assuming. Is the one that... Um, oh, we got another unit here being broken by the Highland Foot. The Highland Foot has got a nasty surprise for it though, and same for the Royal Marines, as the Polish Lancers come in to smite them. Meanwhile, the Light Cavalry is uh, 
running through the rest of the enemy's troops. We'll order an advance. These troops will he be heading that way. The Royal Marines are holding on against the Lancers. But in the end, they're forced to break. Alright, let's rally the cavalry over here. And um, let's rally the troops over here. Here we go, one of the lights being chased by heavy dragoons. Not a good look. Um, my cannons will be turned against them. Let's try and avoid getting smashed to pieces. Advance and break the enemy over there. Quickly air the enemy was broken. I'll order these to hold fire and then have the light cavalry come through here. The 12 pounders have been firing on these. Actually as these move forward we can come in between there and that way save ourselves. I'll order the lights to open fire. But they're unsure of which way they're supposed to be facing. And before they get charged, Polish infantry will open fire. Polish cavalry could uh, organize itself and turn around and fire its carbines. Oh, the lance is getting hit. Oh, the marines are back. Light infantry forward. Right, the enemy was broken over there. Broken everywhere. Everyone will be ordered to advance. The light cavalry will follow the enemy over there. I wonder if... Actually, fire on the Royal Marines. We have a few units that have rallied. Push back into the fight. At this point, we have won though. They're not going to win with a rocket, a howitzer, and half a unit of Royal Marines. Um, and the general. Shit! Okay. Um, the rockets took out quite a lot of us. Let the infantry advance then. On a bro broad front should be able to um, smash through then and um, since the firing out of the city we'll be firing guns into the city actually no even if the British are taking the Irish hostage I will not be firing on the civilians. We are here to liberate the Irish, not murder them. Let's have the cavalry set up on this side. And you know what? We can sit here and uh, watch me walk my way onto those rockets, but I think that'd be rather boring. And we have uh, plenty enough of good excitement in this episode. Where are those rockets going? Going after the Lancers, but they're just outside of range. So, I will now declare this a victory. Ladies and gentlemen, Ireland is free.
Here's the result of that battle. 3,300 men deployed on our side against 3,700 on there. We lost 999. 2,000 men remaining. The entire enemy force was wiped out. Um, here's the statistics of who killed what. Um, not entirely sure what kind of unit this is. It must be light cavalry then, I'd imagine. Killed 600, followed by the other one that killed close to 400. And so on. And with that, I liberate Ireland. Ireland is now its own nation. And uh, we are hosted by them. And the Great Resupply. Um, even though I'm not sure if we're going to go after Scotland, we better uh, stand guard at the Irish Sea. Wonderful. So with this episode, we have liberated Ireland and taken control of Berlin and Brandenburg. Leaving me with only five regions left to capture. So that could be uh, Scotland, Denmark, Pomerania, Silesia, and Warsaw, Greater Poland. That would be five regions. Actually, wouldn't actually need that because I'm going to recapture Pamplona as well. So that's part of those five. Um, I think we should make an extra effort to uh, release the Polish nation. As they fought so well, if, um, if it happens so that I manage to get the required regions before I'm able to get there, um, I should also try and get my Polish army to be the army that goes in and uh, liberates Warsaw. Um, it would, would be fi fitting that way to have the Poles go ahead and uh, save their own nation. But with that said, we're going to end the episode right now. So, I'll be saying, like I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye! <laughs>